Eric Hutchinson fighting back tears after an unthinkable tragedy on his wedding night. Police in South Carolina say last month a suspected drunk driver hit the low-speed vehicle, which looks like a golf cart, that the couple was riding in as they left the reception. Trying to wrap my head around it. Um, that night going from an all-time high to an all-time low. It's pretty rough to try to comprehend. Video showing Eric and his wife Sam basking in the glow of matrimony, leaving the reception near Charleston. Minutes later, while riding in the low-speed vehicle with some family members, they're hit by a car. Hutchinson, his brother-in-law, Benjamin, and nephew Brogan were rushed to the hospital. Sam died after the impact. I remember waking up just kind of foggy, out of sorts, and I could see my mom's face, and you could just tell something was wrong. And I asked her, where's Sam, where's Sam? And then that's when she told me that there's an incident and that Sam didn't make it. Investigators say the driver of the car, Jamie Lee Komorowski, was driving 65 miles per hour in a 25 zone at the time of the crash. According to the toxicology report, her blood alcohol level was more than three times the legal limit. This week, Hutchinson filing a wrongful death lawsuit against Komorowski and several businesses where she allegedly drank the night of the crash. Hutchinson also suing her employer and supervisor, accusing them of pressuring Komorowski to attend a function and consume excessive amounts of alcoholic beverages that night. Her employer saying in a statement there was no officially organized employee function around drinking and Komorowski had just started training for the job. The driver remains behind bars. She's charged with DUI and reckless homicide. She has not entered a plea.